Hello everyone and welcome. This is Chloe with Cousin DIY and today I'm going to show you how to make these lightweight, sparkly, whimsical little beaded earrings. Let's get started. The first step is to make the hoop and to do that I found this hand sanitizer bottle that measures approximately an inch and a half in diameter that worked perfectly. Next, you're going to cut a nine inch length of 20 gauge gold wire. And to make the wire more flexible, we're going to run our fingers over the wire kind of heats up the wire and it makes it much easier to work with and form. At this point, we're going to wrap the middle of it around the bottle and we want the tails to be approximately even, nice and snug up against the bottle. And where they crisscross, we're going to twist a few loops. Now we can take the wire off the bottle and smoosh it flat. We have two tails at the top. I'm going to take the bottom tail and wrap that down around the twist just a little bit like that and then I'm going to oops, find my flush cutters and I'm going to cut that flush then I'm going to take my needle nose pliers again and I'm just going to bend that pinch that so there's no sharp ends next uh, take our round nose pliers. On the remaining tail, form a loop. Then I'm going to hold that loop with my needle nose pliers and I'm just going to start wrapping round and round until I run out of wire. Well, actually, I am going to trim that because I had a little more than I needed. Trim it flush, like so. And once again, pinch the end so there's no sharp edge. At this point, I'm going to put it back on the bottle. Just so we, it remembers that nice round shape. Okay, uh, gonna set that aside. Then we're gonna start stringing on beads. I'm cutting a, I have cut a, an eight inch length of gossamer stretch cord. And on one end of that length of cord, I'm going to slide on a crimp bead and to close this I'm just going to use my needle nose pliers and I'm going to squish it really firm to make sure that's on there good and snug. Next I'm going to slide on clear EB. And now we're going to start stringing the pattern of beads. Oops, come here, earring, come here, earring. As you see right here. Now that I have my crimp on the bottom and my base bead, I'm going to take a big eye beading needle and slide it on right near 
the end of the gossamer stretch cord. This is going to make it so much easier to pick up beads and slide them on. So we want to add about an inch of this colored bead. The size of the seed beads vary, so we're not going to count them, we're just going to measure them. As you can see, I'm just putting the tip of the beading needle through the seed beads, picking them up, sliding them down. Let's see what we've got here. And we had one too many beads, so I'm going to remove that. To open the eye of a big eye needle, it opens in the middle, as you can see. Next, we're going to add, I'll get these out of the way, three quarters of an inch, approximately three quarters of an inch of these little sparkly bugle beads. Okay, let's measure and see what we've got here. Perfect, three quarters. And lastly, We'll pick up an inch of these little champagne colored seed beads. Okay, each earring has seven strands like this. So I'm going to, I have cut um, six more. I'm going to go ahead and make those up and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have my other six strands ready to go, it's time to attach them to the bottom of the hoop. And to do that, I we are going to use crimp tubes, not crimp beads. We're going to slide a crimp tube onto the end of the gossamer stretch cord. Bring that cord through the middle of the hoop and back down through the crimp tube. And we're going to pull that I I cut these extra long for a reason. So that they wouldn't slide off and we'll have room to play with them. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other six. Now that we have these loosely on, we want to crimp them and one by one I just want to make sure that they're loose on the stretch cord I, it, I don't want them, um, I don't want to close the crimps so that the cord is too tight because I'd like them to hang as straight as, as possible. So closing the crimp tubes, I'm going to use crimping pliers. And I'm going to go one by one. because you've got to really get in here and close these. You really want to make sure that 
these tubes are closed nice and snug back on themselves and I will start trimming the tails as we go. Now we'll move over to the, the next one. Okay, now I have all seven strands on the bottom of my hoop. And the last step is to open up an earring hoop open up the bottom loop of an earring hoop and lastly you may want to play with the spacing between your strands at the bottom we have one down I'm going to go ahead and make the matching earring and I'll be right back There. there they are, they're spark sparkly and they move and they're fun. Let me try them on. You may use different combinations of beads from the two packs that are listed in the instructions and you might want to make yours longer or shorter. Thank you for joining us today. If you make your own earrings, we'd love to see them. You can share them with us on Instagram at hashtag createwithcousin. Take care. See you next time. Bye.